And it looks like uh, Buchanan, Jermaine Buchanan, 6-4 against 6-8. And Antonio controls the tap to Mateen Cleaves. Here's another great player on this flank team. Had 25 in the last game. Cleaves goes left side to the hole. Alley oops it, won't go. Tip is up and good. And I don't know if they're going to get that one to Cleaves or Robert Smith. Red shirts all over, the, all over the glass that trip down. And now we're going to take a look at that first drive and tip in again. Here's Cleves to the hole. The scoop comes up on the far side, and he does get up and tip it in just inside of Robert Smith. Off Milo Stavall, and it goes back the other way. Here come the Maroon Giants running quickly. The pull-up jumper. Good. Christopher Brown pulls the trigger on that. Looked like a fast break opportunity. He pulled up and took it himself. Speaking of fast breaks, the miss from Cleves. Cleves back up and in. I didn't wear my track shoes today, but it's uh, looking like I should have. 347. Four points for Gist, who didn't score until late in that quarterfinal game, and he intercepts the ball. Two on two break. Nice feed to Cleaves, and he lays it up and in. Well, that was all started by a relatively lazy inbound pass by K Central. They cost themselves that time, and here's our man again, Ray, to pull the trigger. Norman gets another. A beautiful drop pass coming up here from Torrey as he draws the defense over to himself, and then no looks it backwards. Mateen just goes hard to the hole. And a steal while we go back to live action. Antonio Smith feeds left wing. Mateen for three. Bang. Three. Arthur Norman pulls his team to within two. 21-19, Vikings with the ball and the lead. 2.44 left to go in the first quarter. Driving is Cleaves, reverse. Pretty. Well, you've got to step out and cut that path to the basket off. It can't let a guy go unchecked from the timeline all the way to the rack like that, or he will make you go home early and plan your banquet. A team cleaves now with eight points. Northern matching up in a man-to-man. -man. Right side is Steve Chester. Intercepted by Mateen Cleaves. Let's watch this one. Showtime! Here's a couple of... We're going to take a look at a couple of uh, Flint Northern fast breaks. First of all, the reverse by Mateen Cleaves. And by the way, a gorgeous bounce pass on the last Giants play. We'll take a look at that, I'm sure, as you see the left-handed reverse. And then Mateen's going to break away for the right-handed mini tomahawk here. Very nicely done. Three offensive rebounds on that series. I mean, they're padding the stat column and also making a big old dent in that scoreboard if they can keep clearing the glass. Oh, Mateen plays with a steal, but the fancy behind the back pass is intercepted. Stovall alone at the other end. Oh! What a great play. A whistle. That is Mateen Cleaves who came out of nowhere and made a beautiful block but got some body. Well, we're going to have to take another look at that one because I am not sure. I am not sure that there is going to be cause for free throws here. That was a vicious block, but it, as far as I can tell, that was a clean block nonetheless. Second one is missed. Rebound kept alive by Mateen Cleaves, and here come the Vikings. Cleaves in the middle. Cleaves with a oh. great step around the defender and the left-hander off the window. The killer crossover is Hardaway's patented move, and Mateen just took it away. All of a sudden, they leave his brother wide open as we see Mateen Cleaves go with the crossover to the left hand, oh. and then the scoop. That is a beautiful, especially when you take off from the free throw line. Antone Massey brings it down, and... Brings it across the timeline to Mateen Cleaves. Cleaves alley-oop, one-hander. It's loose, and look at that. Comes right up in the hands of Robert Smith, and he drops it down. Darrell ever coming off the bench to provide a nice spark for the Giants. Mateen Cleaves falls down, but dishes it off. Harvey off the window, no, rebound. Saved by Robert Smith to Mateen Cleaves. Cleaves up and oh! got it! You have clearance for landing. And right side, the shot is up, and it will not go from Kalamazoo Central, and that's it. The buzzer sounds, and the Vikings of Flint Northern have advanced to the Class A State Championship game Saturday afternoon here at the Breslin Center as they will be taking on the Pershing Doughboys out of Detroit.